it's got the double superimposed over it. Now I'm going to turn it right side up on this page, over here on this page. And it's a Mayan king wearing some ridiculous headdress, and it was taken right off this pyramid, which is from Honduras. And so on this pyramid, you have a Mayan king wearing a headdress that's got the exact same agenda as a pyramid that's on the other side of the world. That's impossible. It's got a devil superimposed on top of the face of a sheep when it's turned upside down. Well, that's exactly what the agenda has from ancient Egypt. It has a devil superimposed on top of the face of a sheep when it's turned upside down. And there it is. You can see that's the queen and the hieroglyph. Now, we're going to take another break again, and I'm going to get some more images together so we can start decrypting this hieroglyph. Um, things are about to really take off here, and we're going to start um, cracking into the abomination of desolation mentioned in the book of Matthew and the book of Mark. Um, also mentioned by Daniel the prophet, and that's also the prophecy that the Lord's given me. And behold, the abomination of desolation spoken by Daniel the prophet standing in the holy place where it should not be. Here is a mystery made known to you. You are the holy place of which I speak. And the abomination of desolation shall rise from within the walls of the temple to destroy the temple. I'm bearing witness to the destruction of the temple, which is all into the world stuff. So let me turn this one off and I'll get some more images out. Okay. Um, no. Okay, it's Dan and I are back. Um, we're going to recap um, some issues here before we go on to the next part because I want to I want to kind of lay the foundation once again, and then we're going to look at the money. We're going to look at those sheep that we saw, and we're going to look at the Bible. We're going to look at what God has to say about all this and the reason you're seeing it. So once again, I'm going to go to the U.S. currency. Um, up here at the top, I've taken the $20 bills, and uh, I'll give Dan a minute to zero in on these. This is the 20 that was made, you know, it, it's been around as long as I was a child, and this is the $20 bill. I believe it was proofed in 96 is when it came out. And then after making a pyramid out of both these bills, here's the bombing of the Twin Towers, which is on one side of this $20 bill. There's the bombing of the Twin Towers, and if we go down here, Here's the image from the 20, and here's the actual image of the Twin Towers. So you have an extremely reasonable likeness of the bombing of the Twin Towers on the $20 bill. Now I'm going to turn the page, and on the back side of this same bill, there's an image of a rectangular shaped building, and here's the smoke, and here's the offset in the building, and here's the rest of the building. Now I'm going to go down below, and here's the actual Pentagon. And here's a rectangular building. Here's the offset. It's also got three rows of square windows, just like the image on the 20. With all the smoke, there's the offset, and there's the rest of the rectangular building. You have another extremely reasonable likeness of, a, of the bombing of the Pentagon on that bill. Now I'm going to go back up top, and we're going to look at the old $20 bill. So here's the old $20 bill. Here's the back of it. We made a pyramid. We turned it upside down. and where it generates this image right here. This is an image of the bombing of the federal building in Oklahoma City. And when we turn this bill over, you have the aftermath of the bombing, which is down here below. And I put it next to the actual image of the Oklahoma. Now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to point out this wall right here. This is super important. Here is the leading edge of the wall going down, going down, going down. And there is one of the floors sticking out after the bombing. Now, also, here's part of the floor on the side of the building going this direction. Now watch this. We're going to go over to this $20 bill image. Here's the same leading edge of the wall going down, and there's the floor going, the floor is sticking out, and there's, you know, the continuation of the floors on the side of the building. Here's the smoke, and here's the rest of the building. Okay, on two bills, we have four images of bombings. That's impossible. There's absolutely no that way that could be a coincidence or, you know, that we could have images of bombings in the United States done by terrorists, printed on our bills, especially after folding those bills. Let's see. One, 
two, three, four times, and then making a pyramid and turning the pyramid upside down and it fitting into a prophecy by Isaiah. That's just, there's no way that could happen without it being true. Now I'm gonna turn the page and we're gonna go up here and we're gonna look at the $10 bills. And up here on the $10 bill, this is the old $10 bill, it's changed. And the line was taken off from this bill to this bill. Um, it was colored orange. Over here they added this oval shape here. And um, when we make a pyramid out of this bill, I've taken that image and I put it right here. It's a tidal wave right here, coming over the building right here. And here, everything below the, the pointer is the reflection right here of this building in water. Okay, that is a prophetic utterance that the Lord has given me. He said, behold, the hand of the oppressor has been lifted against you and out of the sea shall come fire and smoke and a devouring wind. That is a nuclear explosion coming out of the ocean. Then he said, water as high as the walls of Jerusalem shall cover the city by the sea and great shall be the destruction of that city. Once again, Time or Newsweek magazine, I know for sure came out with a cover story that said there's going to be an offshore nuclear attack on a port city. It's already printed on our $10 bill, so it's going to happen. Now, I'm going to flip this. Oh, I'm going to let Dano have one look at this. Here it is enlarged, you know, the same $10 bill. So here's the representation of the nuke, which is happening behind this building out in the ocean. Um, this represents the nuclear explosion. Uh, the orange sky represents a devouring wind, which comes from a nuclear explosion. Here's the tidal wave generated by the, the, the ocean backlashing and coming back to fill the empty void. It'll create a big tidal wave and it'll cover the city. And there it is coming over. Everything below the blue line is the reflection in the water. Okay, let's move on to the $50 bills. And the $50 bill, uh, and the next part of that prophetic utterance was, and behold, the great wall. I'm gonna go up here and see if Dano can get a shot on this. Here are the $50 bills. Here's the old 50 right here. Now the old 50 has this line that goes around the oval right here. That's really important because that's the line that ends up making the water containment on, uh, on the top of the dam. When we go to the new $50 bill, that line is no longer there and clouds have been added to this, and there's all these little yellow dots, and the bill is kind of red now. Okay, so when we make a pyramid out of each of these and we turn it upside down, it produces these, these two images. Here's, here's the dam, here's the, the cement wall, and there's the water containment that holds the water back, you know, the top part of the dam. Um, so behold the great wall, which holds back the abundance of the rivers. Now let's go to the, the new 50 shall burst forth bringing the hand of the oppressor against you for I have seen it and then he says for mighty is your enemy that has risen from within your own borders now this is really fascinating because the way the Lord showed this to me was in layers we have an enemy that's coming up from within the borders of the United States obviously we have these bombings printed on our money so we have a very, very mighty enemy coming up within the borders of our country, but that is only the first layer because the next statement that the Lord put in me was, and behold the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet standing in the holy place where it should not be. And then he says, here is the mystery made known to you. you are the holy place of which I speak. Now, we're gonna to go to the Bible. I'm gonna take this whole thing down right now. We've seen the money. I'm gonna put some other stuff up here, but I wanna take 